Hey everyone, and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West. I am excited about this one. We just met those uh, three performers. The financier guy, the storyteller, and uh, I guess the inventor. I forget their names already. But uh, they are so far some of my favorite characters. So we're trying to help them repair their little... I don't even know what to call it. Submarine machine? <laughs> I don't know. Whatever you want to call the little machine he was using to try to get down into the flooded um, casino or hotel or casino hotel, whatever this is. Um, but yeah, I got to get him some parts starting down here. So let me um, get a recap. The Sea of Sands. In pursuit of, or in pursuit of Poseidon... One of Gaia's lost subordinate functions, Aloy must journey through a vast desert to reach the ruins of Las Vegas. So we need to gather machine parts from the machine herd. It doesn't specify what I need, and I don't remember what I need. So I guess we'll figure it out. Uh, and we got some stuff on the way. So there is an unknown here. We'll go check that out. We had been over there previously and there. I remember getting on top of that rooftop. So yeah, let's go check that out. Uh, was it a rebreather? Uh, maybe it was a rebreather. I was thinking we were fixing the capsule thing, but it might just be a rebreather. Oh, and we got a drone over there. Okay, well, that's what the question mark is. It's a drone slot spot. An eye in the sky. Must be a Cyclops drone. How to get its data. Oh, that's right. That's how you pronounce. It's an acronym that you pronounce. A Cyclops drone. You think I'm gonna be pleased with this one? I think so too. I mean, I already like the characters. And who knows what's down there. Maybe it'll give me the actual Vegas feel because so far Vegas has been very underwhelming, but they were talking about neon signs and all sorts of cool stuff down there, so I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. Because, yeah, Vegas so far has been very underwhelming. But I I trust them. I don't think they're going to let me down. Let's see, how do I duck again? I'm playing too many games. There we go. That's how you duck. Of course, it's different in every single game. I couldn't be consistent. I think Ghost of Tsushima is pressing the right stick. Uh, Horizon is square. And what's the other one I play in that has a duck? Nah, I forget the other one. But it has a different button, I believe. <laughs> You're the child of Poseidon, so of course that I know the best. We wouldn't doubt your dad. nice enough for them to give me a bunch of goodies. I appreciate that always. Although apparently I missed some more that way. Alright, how do I... Yeah, that's right. I'll hold square for the uh, glidey thing. Oh, but how do I get up there? Riddle me that. Ah, crap. I'm stuck down here. Maybe I glide over, but I kind of downed it. Let's see. I don't think I can glide that far. <laughs> what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Aloy doesn't know that. Oh, hold on. I can go over here, it looks like. There we go. That's what we wanted. Weekly specials. Advert. Data corruption is minimal. A hui huao. Whatever that means. Experience authentic Hawaiian food in real space dining. I'm sure I said that wrong. Weekly specials. Loco Moco. 100% beef patty. Two certified natural eggs gravy over rice. Sub chili for $5. Ninth Island combo. Simon. 
I, I, don't, I don't actually know what that is. Simon? With house-made noodles, kamaboko char su. Served with a manapua on the side. None of... I, I guess I don't know Hawaiian food. Shoyu ahi poke. Featuring bloat... Blot bite? Printed ahi. Upgrade to vat grown for $15. Limited time only. Poi malasada. Made with taro flown in directory, directly from Kauai. While supplies last. Apparently I need to introduce myself to some Hawaiian food because I've never heard of any of that. I did go to a Hawaiian place once. I can't remember what I got. But I think I got one of the, like, save things. Where it's like, okay, I know I'm gonna like this. Okay, I can go up there, but is there a point? Maybe the drone goes that high? I don't know. Let's find out. Oh, he does go that high. I don't know if I'm gonna make it, though. I think I'm gonna be a little slow. Yeah, he's gone. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Nope, I knew it. Oh, yeah. Eh, if I had jumped for it, I might have made it, but that happened to me last time, and I fell all the way. It felt bad. Oh, I missed something down there. Interesting. Definitely can't make that jump. Oh, is that green shine over there? That is green shine and also an ancient valuables box. Should I go for it? Nah, I'm gonna wait for him to get closer. I want him right over here. Is he coming? Yeah, there you are. No! <laughs> what the heck, Aloy? Oh, Did me dirty. How could you? It's the second time she's done that to me. What the heck? Well, about the time I get back up there, it should be- Oh! Okay. Hey, <laughs> Lloyd didn't even re- I know, right? She even try. And I don't think it works if I use the glider, so I have to jump. <laughs> you just heard the price is right failure sound. Nice. Alright. You got this, Aloy. You got this. Reach for it! There you go! There you go. Uh oh, better hurry up. Got it. Now I just have to take it back to base. Is he after me or no? No, he's just curious. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother with him. I got no reason to fight him. Alright, so I think down here there was a cache that I missed, potentially. Is it over here? Okay. What's after me? Alright, I did... Wait. Wait, did I forget to loot it? Or does he just get up and start going again? I thought I finished. I got it, right? I thought the other ones just stopped working, but apparently they just keep going. I guess they keep going. Well, alrighty then. I was under the impression that they stopped.
Okay, so I wanted to get that green shine over there. I think I'm gonna have to go from the top. Oh, by the way, um, for those of you that may not be patrons or you just may not know, a new vote started uh, today. I'm sure somebody can list all the games because I always forget as soon as I post it. Uh, but at least currently the, the Cory is winning. And it's got quite an early lead, so it's doing quite well. Is this easy? I don't know if I'm going to make it. No! No! Oh, uh, can I climb it? I don't think I can climb it. Crap. Can I launch myself? Because sometimes you can do that. I don't think I can. Dang it! I gotta go back up again. Unless there's some way that I'm not seeing. No, I think glide's the only way. Oh, and I missed this. Just a little more. Got this AOI. Go! Oh, it's gonna be close! No! No, no! Grab it! Yes! No, no, no! Ah, what the heck? Attempt number three. this thing. I can't get any higher. My glide is failing me. She won't grab the ledge. I don't know why. Aloy Poppins strikes again. Aloy Poppins should have been able to land that. Alright. Go! Oh, I feel like this one's even worse. Oh, God! Alright. I, I think the trick is just don't touch anything when I land. Because it'll look like she doesn't make it, and I'm trying to jump to get her to just grab the side or anything, and then somehow she, like, magically pops up, and then she's on it, and then she jumps off. So I'm just going to not touch anything and see what ha Oh, I didn't get nearly as far. Yeah, no, actually, I guess I have to jump. There are stairs in front of it? Huh? Yeah, but you can't grab those. So, I mean, I guess... No, even if you... Maybe I could land on it. And jump up. I could try. Ugh. It's hard to, it's hard to get her to land and stop. All right, stop. No, <laughs> you gotta stop, Aloy. Okay, there. Oh, she grabbed it that time. Nope. She won't do it. We know we can make it. I did it once. Aloy is tired of my shinies hunting. How could she? She knew what she was getting into when she started this. Think I'm just gonna leave some green shine lying around? That's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. Ooh, I feel like I got some good height on that. Maybe. 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 No! <laughs> oh, up, oh, up. Oh. oh. I don't think there's a better spot for me to go from. 
think I think it has to be from here. I just can't seem to get enough momentum. If there was a place I could launch it off of up the top, that would get me definitely high enough, but I don't think there is one. Alright, maybe if I get a running start. Try this. Alright, I'm ready. Here we go, here we go. Go! I... That was somehow worse. That was somehow way worse. What the heck? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, get up! No! Ah. Oh. Sad. Sadness. What the heck? I did it the first time, and I can't seem to do it again. Apparently, first time's a charm. After that, you're out of luck. Alright, so I went from here. Nope. Alright. Go! Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go! No, that wasn't even close! How am I. I feel like I'm getting further and further away. What, what am I doing wrong here? I'm somehow getting worse. Because before I would land like on the top thing, now I'm barely getting to the bottom ledge. What am I doing differently? I need a double jump. Alright. Okay, this one looks close. And got it! Perfect. Ha! Keep this green shine for later. Got it. Wow, oh, missed more stuff in there. Okay. Supply box and. Weird. The data point shows up like that? That doesn't seem right. Oh, Miss Chen. Did you see what game's winning the vote, Miss Chen? Are you gonna come to the streams if it wins, Miss Chen? Can I get in this one? Oh, maybe. Maybe? Oh, I just ended up over here. I guess we just dropped down now. And now I'm going to run and hide. <laughs> you actually voted for it? Wait, you're, that, that makes no sense. Are you going to actually brave it? Or did you just want to make yourself suffer? Alright, I think we're good to move on. It took a little bit more time than I expected it to. Well, this is where Moreland said the herd would be. They must have moved on. I need to pick up their trail. More for tracks. That was his name. There. Tracks should lead me to the herd. All right, I will get follow that after I go. This where the herd left from. I better follow the tracks in the other direction.
The desert certainly reclaimed Vegas. Sandstorms blowing in. Just what I need. Oh, we got a shiny over there. With a Glint Hawk. Oh, that might. I should have the parts I need. Hmm. Well, we could take over one of these. I think we will. Oh, a purge water canister burrower. Good thing I scanned. What else we got? Cross oh, the storm swept up a sand spiral. I think those right. aren't actually part of the herd, or they are. I don't know. I would like a little buddy if I can get one. And he's still looking at me. Alright, here we go. Damn it. Gotcha! Okay. Let's see if I can still play. Hey, that's a good start. Kaboom! Maybe I played better after I wait a week. Oh, hello. How's it going? My name's Aloy. What's your name? Aren't you supposed to have a weak point? Or frost, Whoa. rather? Ow. Get him, burner. Can canister burrower, whatever the heck your name is. You. Oh, look at that. <laughs> As, apparently, uh, in my time off, I learned how to aim. Oh, well, there we go. Wow, look at that damage burrower buddy did. Nice freaking work. Got him. Don't I have an override for a Glenhawk? I might. I don't know. I got a bunch of overrides recently, and I can't remember which ones were in that. All right, I learned the secret. Don't play for a week and a half. And then become Master Archer. It's all clear to me now. Alright, did I let the herd get away? Maybe it was those bigger ones. Oh, actually, he's probably part of the horde, herd, huh? Sorry, buddy. You were a great partner, but our time has come to an end. Not the herd. Alright, so the herd was the Bellaback and the others, and I just leveled up. Beautiful. Seems odd there's nothing in the building. Apparently there is not. Huh. The betrayal, he was your friend. He was nothing to me. Just a pawn on the chessboard. Looks like the herd's caught between those sand spirals. I could use that to my advantage. Oh crap. Don't look over here. There's no reason to look over here. Ooh, I can override long legs, I know that. Ooh, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you, don't you dare turn around. 
Don't you dare turn around! Gotcha! Man, that's a long overhead, but I got him. All right, he's gonna help me out. We're best buds now. Let's go with this. Right about there. <laughs> Oh, ow. Wasn't ready for that. Uh, that's right, they have uh, lightning canisters on the bottom. I forgot about that. My bird's in there doing damage. Go, bird! Alright, he's done. Do my bidding, bird. Take that leap lasher down. Don't take his crap. Don't take his crap. What? Oh, did he get stuck? No, not me, him! We're friends! I mean... We were friends. Once upon a time, we were friends. But our time together has ended! You were nothing to me! Finish him! Oh! I was not expecting that. I thought he was just gonna die. I should check if one of these machines has an intact membrane. So far, smooth as butter. This synthetic membrane's the right size, but it's ripped. Gotta try another machine. Smooth as butter. I am really enjoying the um, the overrides on this game. With all those buffs, your your machine buddies are oh, super strong. In the first game, from memory, it was just not very very good. It was more of a gimmick than something that was like actually useful. I guess the only purpose it really served in the first game was having a distraction so not everything is focused on you, but I don't I really don't recall my machine buddies ever like doing significant damage. The heck is Oh god. <laughs> I didn't know what was going on. I wonder what would have happened if I got sucked up in that. Let's let's not find out. I don't feel like getting ragdolled by a sandstorm, sand tornado, whatever they're called. All right, I think we're good. Indeed. Well, I may as well. Hey, where do you think you're going? What? How'd that miss? You can ride the tornado? Oh! Get launched and then glide? That's kind of interesting. I'll have to do that next time I'm near one. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> a betrayal worthy of a Shakespearean tragedy. Let's not go over. San Tornado Eagle. Dust Devil, that was... That's what I was looking for, I think. Okay. Well, I guess we just swim down and 
your abbot. I thought we were finally going to get away from this place. Well, good thing that Aloy showed up. We'll see. The longer their sojourn in the desert, the crustier the shard counters move became. I like that storyteller guy. Oh, wait, how do I dive again? There we go. Ah, uh, dude, it wasn't even that far. We could have managed this. Makes Aloy go and do everything. Got the compressed air capsule. We'll find a way to get I the embers. The I know we will. Thing now. Where get Optimism. Back to it's great. Right up until the point you stumble into a machine's jaws. Pessimism. It may save your hide, but it'll never save your spirit. Once again, the shard counter found he had lost the war of words. I'll stuff a cog in it, Stemmer. What can I do for you, partner? Uh, I already asked him about all that. I've got the parts. I've got everything I need to build the, uh... The incredible diving mask. I think diving mask is enough. I won't quibble. The workbench is all yours. All right. Special gear. The diving mask, a special breathing apparatus that enables diving to extreme depths and also allows us to go back to all those diving places we found and see what's going on. Compressed air capsule, machine kneecap, and a synthetic membrane. We have it all. Do it. Looks like a diving boomerang. Alright, while I'm in here, any cool upgrades for me? We could upgrade the Glow Blast Sharp Shot Bow. Why not? 25% overdraw damage. We like that. Could even give it another upgrade, but that would take my Green Shine Cluster, and I only have one of those. And I don't think this is where I want to use it. But I did forget I have a Glow Blast uh, Bow now, which is nice. I can finally get those canisters. Um, a Firestorm Warrior Bow. We could upgrade. Takes two Shellwalker Lightning Guns. I do use this a lot, though. I don't see any reason not to do it, so I will do it. Plus 15% melee follow-up. That's interesting. Alright, what else we got? We got the Martial Hunter Bow. I need Tide Ripper Tailfin and Rockbreaker Mining Claws. That's nasty. Anything else? What's all this? Delver Tripcaster. I don't care about Tripcasters too much. Don't use them often. I like the music in here. Alright, outfit upgrades. I'm using the awesome Striker. What do I need for this? I need a Snap Maw, Sack Webbing, and a Stalker Stealth Generator. I need three of those. Brutal. Okay. Pouch upgrades? You can apparently upgrade my resource pouch. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I want this for sure. Gets me more berries. And then a food pouch. Do I care about this? Not really. Bolt clip. I guess I may as well get one of these, though. Of the three, I guess I'll take food. Upgraded every pouch type. Look at that. Upgraded the food pouch, the potion pouch, the resource pouch, the trap pouch, and any ammo pouch at least once. Cool. Oh, I actually can do another upgrade. Bolt clip. I guess. I don't use the bolt blaster much, but may as well. Maybe I'll find that they're more useful later on. I don't know. And the trap pouch. I barely ever use traps. 
That's great. We're here. Let's just do it. Whoa. There's a marvel. If it works, you'll let me try it? I want to get down there and get those embers. Assuming I don't drown. So what are you really looking for down there? It's hard to explain. Something that caused a malfunction in the apparatus that controls the old city. I think it started the flood. Well, I, I thought we started the flood. Like we sprung a trap. I don't know how we were detected. Like I said, the dancing lights around us changed, turned to sea life. There was this flash of red and the roar of water surging in. Wait, a flash of red? A, a red light from a spot uh, near the grate on the floor where the water burst through. It was like a beacon. For a warning. Thanks. That might help. Well, I hope it does. And good luck down there. Okay. Time to see if this thing works. All right. What's it look like down here? I'm excited. Is this the Vegas I came for? So far, so good. I can actually breathe down here. Nice. Seems like it has no capacity whatsoever. It just lasts forever. Something tells me we're going to be draining all the water out of here, because why else would there be climbing things? But who knows, maybe they're just accounting for the fact that... The mask seems to be holding up. I've never been able to swim this deep before. Maybe they're just accounting for the fact that those guys would have needed some way up. But something tells me I'm going to drain it. We've got a data point. Where it started. Oh, this is a... It started right here, more than 30 years ago. Back when this casino was still called the, the Temple. One big day turned my fate around. But now, fate's dealt this cruelest hand ever to everyone. I have to turn the lights out one final time, and the waters of my adopted home will at last run dry. Well, if a dream has to die, at least I can say goodbye first. Stanley Chen. What did he do here? What's with this pulsing? That doesn't mean I'm running out of breath or something. I don't know why it's pulsing. Oh, right. I forgot I can swim faster. Stanley Chen, looking back. News item, data corruption's partial. Las Vegas, May 4th, 2060. 20 years ago this week, Stanley Chen broke ground on one of the most ambitious construction prog projects in American history even though many Americans didn't want him there. As he struck his spade into the barren soil, the CEO quipped how resentment against Chinese political influence had turned Vegas into a boiling hotbed of nationalistic settlement, but how his immense fortune had cooled that down, finally warming Americans to his idea of a new Las Vegas. Who would have believed at the time that he would become one of the most beloved figures of the clawback era, but Stanley Chen has always been one to defy the odds. Literally. In 2035, during a meeting with potential investors at the old Tempo Hotel, Chen watched in horror as his water filtration startup drowned before his very eyes, realizing too late that his once trusted lawyer had sold critical patent info to the competition. The resulting chain reaction of busted deals wiped him out, leaving him with only $88,000 to his name. Devastated, Chen decided to leave his fortune to fate. He went to the casino floor and placed all 88,000 on a roulette wheel, number 8. It hit. The resulting 37 to 1 payout netted him nearly 3.2 million, enough to rejuvenate his dreams of starting a successful business. 
He threw himself back into his work, eternally thankful for his lucky new lease on life. Five years later, it wasn't Chen that needed saving, but Vegas itself. The hot zone crisis had strangled tourism. Years of ever-increasing heat had dried out the county completely. Water in critical demand everywhere was now too expensive to import. Abandonment seemed to be the only option. The City of Lights was about to go dark forever. But Stanley Chen uh, couldn't let that happen. In five years of incredible success, he had turned 3.2 million into 200 billion, selling water filtration technology that data corrupted. Alrighty. Yeah, this pulsing is weird. I guess it's supposed to be like a sonar. <laughs> There was something on that last time, but I guess not. Ooh, holographic fishies. Must be Poseidon's doing. A drag? Yeah. Seeing much. Uh oh. I don't like that sound. I don't like that sound at all. Alright, well, let's keep going. That looks like a way out. Poseidon's down here, somewhere. Gotta find where it's hiding. Crap. That's not what I wanted to see. I think that's one of those tide rippers. All right, we're gonna need places to hide. This place is massive. And all of it's encased in a dome. There are shinies. Maybe we can get that after. I don't know. Maybe I'll risk it. We'll see. Let me go ahead and highlight his track. Oh, I can't. Oh, yeah, I can. Hey, it's a Tide Ripper. Apparently, I never scanned one before. A large and powerful acquisition machine that filters sediment for resources. Whether on land or in water, it weaponizes purge water for devastating attacks. It is weak to frost. Oh, really? And shock. Shock's not surprising. Frost? A little surprising. Processing your capsules on the head. Purge water cannon... Sort of on the cheeks. Purge water pouch on the throat. A heart. Okay. Very weak spot. Tail canisters. Chill water canister. Ooh, where, where is that? On the tail? Yeah, it looks like it's embedded in the tail. That is always good. And then the tail. I actually need that for upgrades. And antenna for resources on the back. And a tidal disc. A large rotational device that can fire powerful streams of purge water. Detach or destroy it to disable its water spin attack. Yeah, I don't want to deal with that. Exhaust ports. Steam expulsion. Vulnerable to damage, but only extends when purge water supplies are, deleted, are depleted. Oh, and sparkers. Okay. All right. And glow blast canister. Oh, he's got lots of things you can potentially exploit. And the purge water sacks. Interesting. Very interesting. All right, he's kind of hanging out over there. If he's gonna stay there, 
That gives me an opportunity to get the shinies. But I don't know, he's... Kind of acting like he wants to come over here. Oh, yep, there he is. Alright, well, he's over there again. I'm gonna go for it. Oh, wait. Am I gonna go for it? I don't know if I'm gonna go for it. Nope, nope, nope. Doesn't seem very observant. Alright, we got three shinies. Yeah, he seems pretty oblivious, to be honest. Alright, I'm going for it. That must be the red light that Merlin saw when the water rushed in. What red light? Wait, over there? Ah, oh, crap. I don't know what red light she's talking about. Unless it's over there. Or that. But I don't think it's that. Oh, maybe it's here? What's this? Okay, I can't do anything with that yet. I don't know where she's seeing red light. She said a grate on the floor. Unless that's it, yeah, but that doesn't look like it. That looks like just some random thing. Get out of here, Tide River. No one likes you. Alright, go for it. Go, go. Oh, God. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. Oh, God. I hear him. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, good. He's oblivious. Okay, well... What red light are you talking about? What? Maybe it's over there? Oh, wait, no, it was over here. What the? I went here before. Oh, now it lets me use it. Whoop. Nothing different happened. Alright, well, whatever, do it. controls offline. To execute an emergency purge, manual reset of primary and secondary pump nodes is required. The purge can then be triggered at the pump maintenance station. If I do this purge and drain all the water, I can fight that big machine on dry ground. Looks like I have to reset a couple of pump nodes first. According to the map, there should be an access point for the first node south of here. Okay. Now we're talking. Over here, I guess. Oh, we got more shinies.
Right, I gotta mark these dudes. Where are they at? Breaking that part should stop one of its attacks. Okay, he's not the big one. There's a freaking snap maw. Right, I need to actually go this way. Hey, you stay over there. Don't look over here. Just, oh crap. Uh oh. Uh oh, he's suspicious. That's not good. No, 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 stay away. Oh, I can use smoke bombs underwater? I might have to do that. He gave up on me, that's good. I don't s Oh yeah, no I can use it, look at that. Alright, good. That'll be useful for sure. Oh boy. he's doing but as long as he leaves me alone I don't care hmm he's not giving up oh never mind I was about to say he's not giving up but then he did all right this way go 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 all right I found it there's the access point should lead me to the pump node in we go. There must be a whole network of these tunnels down here. Water lines for an entire city. I can't reach the ledge from here. Maybe there's something I can climb to get out. Uh, over here? Ah, here we go. Hey, mister. My man, how you doing? It's my first time. I comment something. Welcome to the stream. Good to have you. I'm doing well. Exploring this casino in Vegas with all these nasty machines trying to eat me. Shannies around here, so let's go back. Let's make sure that snap moss not yeah, waiting for me. The second node should be on the oh, other side of the dome. Freaking snap moss. Oh 
don't you dare turn around. Oh, crap. Oh, <laughs> crap. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, wow. I get away with that? No way. I'm just a plant. Look at my plant hair. Just a plant. Just an Aloy plant. Nothing to see here. Move along. Move along. He is in the way. What gonna do about him? Let me go over here. Oh, uh, maybe I just go up here. Oh crap! Oh crap! I hit the wrong button. Oh no! All right, maybe we just go for it. Yeah. Oh crap! That's not what I thought. I guess over here. There we go. I'm in. All according to plan. Oh, what's this? The fountains. Just shut down the secondary node. No more water for the fountains. No more shows. I don't live to appreciate them anyway. I'll never forget the city's grand reopening. The fountains had been bone dry for years. No one believed they'd ever return. So, as the first bloom arced up in the dome, the music swelling, my heart soared right along with it. The city gave me a second chance once. Now it had one, two. The domes, the water. He was responsible for all of it. Right. Oh, I saw a ladder. I assume I'm gonna have to clear this fire gleam or it's not gonna be able to move. Okay, I've taken care of both nodes. Now we just need to activate the emergency purge to the maintenance station. Alright, where the heck is that? Probably gonna have to go past that stupid burrower again. He might be waiting for me right when I come out. According to the map, the maintenance station should be at the south end of the dome. Called that. Called that. So that way. Wish you could stealth them underwater. It's like a one shot of Burrowing. As long as he's not an Apex. And he's not. Freaking Snap Maw? I have a Burrower. 
Oh, he's right there. Tag him too. I'll highlight his track. Oh boy. Snap Ma over there. Might be able to use this to my advantage. Yeah, oh crap. I keep pressing the dodge button thinking it's gonna make me go down, but it doesn't. Oh, he's gonna go right past me. Should be fine though. Once again, I'm just a plant. Can I override them? I doubt it, but he's gonna come right past me. So I guess we'll find out if I can override. That would be amazing and I should, but I doubt it. If I can't attack them, I doubt I can override. Yep, no option. Would have been amazing. One overridden snap mod would have taken care of everything. Power. Just look at the console I found earlier. That might be the main end station. But how to get in? arrived but indeed how do we get in maybe go up from the ceiling it looks like oh. part of this building collapsed there might be a way in what is this green shine cluster heck yeah I'll take that I think I'm in the maintenance station now I just gotta find a console to activate the emergency purge Is that? Ah, whatever. As a thalassophobe, you would think that this level would scare the crap out of me, but something about it doesn't. I think it's all the, the nice, inviting neon lights. It's not the dark abyss that is actual deep water. Some interesting music they're playing. One final walk. Oh, it's an audio one. System shut down, so almost done. Only thing left is to power everything down at the control center. So, I guess this is it. One final walk down the strip, and then it slides out forever. At least I won't be around to see it destroyed. The Odyssey will be well on its way to Sirius by the time the swarm gets here. Still. My last memory of this place will be empty. A city that's already dead. Stanley Chen was one of them. The Zenith. But he did so much for this place. He he doesn't sound like the others. Why am I dying? Uh okay. I don't know why I'm dying. This looks promising. There should be a console in here. Well I stopped dying. Maybe it's the bubbles? Maybe I need the bubbles to regenerate. Huh. Well, I might have learned something because I did not realize I needed the bubbles. There. I'm gonna this place out. 
How far am I in the story? Um, I don't really know, but my best guess is maybe like halfway. Maybe slightly under half. Machine guarding the door on the other end of the dome. Yeah. Once I get past it, I can get to what's waiting on the other side of the door. Psychon. Yeah, and we're gonna have a snap mob buddy to help me out. It's gonna be great. I guess that helps me get rid of all of the water. Anything down there? No. Oh snap! <laughs> oh, I hate stepping through this stuff. There was some shinies over here that I'm curious about. It's like they're just... Yeah, they're just herbs, but whatever, I'll take them. Anything back here? It seems like there might be, but I guess not. Oh, what's this? Wait, it was there for a second, now it's gone. What's this? Mont Golfier Flight? News item data corruption's partial. You'll see a recreation of the Montgolfier Brothers hot air balloon. This is the second model of the balloon to grace the Las Vegas Strip after the first one was sold to a casino in Shanghai in 2031. The original Montgolfier's balloon took flight in Paris, France in 1783 and was the first, first free flight by humans. But the two brave men who jumped aboard weren't the first beings to take to the air. King Louis the 16th had insisted on a test flight that sent a sheep, a duck, and a rooster into the skies three months earlier than their human data corrupted. Alright, well. What's that? Oh, is that the... Yeah, it's one final walk. Alright. Hey, this is cool. Alright, where is that snap ma? Wait, did he get carried away? <coughs> oh no! Did you take my little buddy? The well, he's not exactly little. I think they took my snap ma away. That's rude. Oh, is this where I got that data point? Is this a different one? Oh, Las Vegas timeline. It's a different one. Text law data corruption is minimal. Las Vegas timeline for Miss Chavez's history class. 15,000 BC, mammoths, woolly elephants, came to Nevada before it is called Nevada to eat. 8,000 BC, Native Americans come and draw... Uh, pteroglyphs? Which are different from pterodactyls. Okay. I don't know what a pteroglyph is. Uh, 1829, some people from a place called Spain in Europe call Las Vegas, Las Vegas, which means the meadows. 1905, the city is made a city and the railroad comes so people can rest and get water. 1931, a big dam called the Hoover Dam is made near Las Vegas. 1946, Benjamin Bugsy Siegel opens a hotel. 
1951, big bombs are blown up in the desert. People come to watch the mushroom clouds, and our city is called Atomic City. Lots of hotels are builded. Are builded, huh? 1956, Elvis Parsley performs <laughs> in Las Vegas. 2007, a big hotel called the Stardust is exploded. 2030, it gets very hot and the animals die and the people say it is too hot and go away. 2035, Stanley Chin is very lucky and wins $3.2 million on a roulette wheel by guessing the numbers. 2037, people from Nevada and Arizona and California fight against robots when the government tries to make them leave because it's so hot. Almost nobody comes to Las Vegas anymore. 2040, Stanley Chen has used the lucky money and made more from making water that you can drink without getting diseases that make you sick. He pays his money for a big bubble over our city and a hotel called The Fountain. 2047, my school, Stanley Chen Elementary, is open for children. Thank you, Mr. Chen, for everything that you have paid for for our city where we live and for stopping it from turning into a desert. Or into a dessert, actually. Good thing he stopped it from turning into a dessert. We wouldn't want a bunch of cavities. And kids hopped up on sugar. So that explains the bubble thing that we saw earlier. Although it looks less like a bubble and more like a, just a shield. But we'll call it a bubble. They call it a bubble, we'll call it a bubble. So that explains why it's not the grandiose Las Vegas that I expected because it was simply rebuilt to be Vegas-like. All right, I want that snap maw. I've never had a pet snap maw before. And he will be mine. And he will love it. And gotcha. Oh wait. Oh, I thought I had an override for them. No. I don't? Well, that sucks. I thought I did. Maybe I'm working on it. Alright, well, maybe. I can't remember those. Oh, God. Are those purge water canisters on him? Oh, I'm stuck. This sucks. I can't move. I gotta remember what they have. They have purge water canisters. Ah, that's right. They don't have like anything really good to exploit. That's why I hated fighting these. All right. Well, let's see. What can we do? Let's go with this. All right, I'm gonna get this guy to be my buddy at least. I get an opportunity. Join me. I can do this? Oh, pff. even that got me hit. But it's okay. We can deal with that. Let's see, what do we want? I guess we'll just shoot him regular like. Crap, I can't move. All right, you doing good over here? Good, fight him. Go beat him up. Do my bidding. Ooh, that thing's weak. Yeah, trying to melee is so pointless. Good job, little guy. I thought that I could override these guys. I don't know why I thought that. I need to get that override because I don't want to fight them anymore. <laughs> They're annoying. What's this? Taste of the high life. 
Text log, data corruption's partial, data corrupted. I understand you want me to come back and I'm missing Jesse too, but this takes the personal touch. Our competitors can shift 100,000 units of VAT grown in one call. You know the only way we're going to take some of that business is by building relationships. I've got three more appointments tomorrow and a good feeling about the first two. If I land just one of them, it'll be enough to keep the farm going for a few more years. This one chef, he likes to talk about the way you can taste the difference with real meat. He says it's like homeopathy. The texture and composition might be the same, but you can taste the imprint of life. Whatever he's talking about, it seems to sell. And there's a lot of hollow stars at this, or at his restaurants. So just a few more days, okay? They say if you want to take a gamble, you come to Vegas. Maybe tomorrow our number comes up. Alright, well, I think little buddy's gonna get his butt kicked by the- what the- Oh, we're off? I didn't know it'd wear off. For once, they betrayed me! We were friends! This is why. This is why I always betrayed them, because I knew this day would come. I knew this day would come. I guess I could have overridden them again, but whatever. He lost my trust. And for that, he dies. Oh, we got another data log, or data point, whatever. Custom order. Text log, data corruption's partial. Hey, Wendy, I had to leave early today. Could you handle something for me? That custom order for Mr. Tuberville and Family Suite 115 just came in. The receipt makes it very clear that it is not to be sent to his room. He wants the package sent out to Miss Olivia in New Paradise. Yes, that Miss Olivia, and no, he clearly doesn't know. So don't you go telling him, girl. If she wants to keep squeezing gifts out of these cheats, then good luck to her. I thought maybe she'd finally got too old to reel them in, but Liang said she saw Miss Olivia on Tuesday and she looked like she was in her early 30s again. So she must have gone back in for more work. And it couldn't have been cheap, that's for sure. Treatment or not, I hope I've still got half her energy when I'm in my 60s. Okay, I have to run. Get that gift sent out to her. Usual drone service. See you Wednesday. A wild Setsuna appears. What's up, Setsuna? All right, I think we're good. Oh wait, what's that? Ancient supply boss, let's go grab that. up there. How do I get there? Do I just go up here? Appears to be the case. I'm cooking my armor in this heat. Okay, I think it's time to fight Mr. Tide Ripper. I am prepared. He'll regret the day he challenged me. Well, I don't like that sound. What is that? Oh, what's this? Voice to text transcript. Message log, data corruption is partial. March 10th, 2064, 124 p.m. P. Collins, this is the land of the free. How can we be free if we can't even drive our own cars? Smith Richardson Ogler the Seventh. Or, not the seventh. Smith, Smith Richardson, Ogler 7. As your lawyer, I must remind you that removing the car's self-drive automation could lead to... The whole point of this case is to return my fine vintage automobile to its original, original condition. And that means no robots. Yes, and in our papers, this is a piece of history. American history. From when we made things. Do they want all our history to vanish? 
I'm not sure that the court... Oh, I know, the court will say it's just a car, safety must come first, blah, blah, blah. Yes, it is likely that, but that's not what this is about. It's about returning this car to its original, unchained, unbridled, American data corrupted. Alright, I think our Tide Ripper friend is right over these cars. I want his tail, so we'll definitely be working on that. Okay, Poseidon is through there. Where did that machine go? Aloy! It's a miracle! Oh, oh. <laughs> Is this you? Did you lower the waters? Yeah, but there's a new problem. That thing's in our way. Wow. Yeah, it's gonna be difficult to get the embers with that around. As the scrappy band of adventurers beheld the beast, they knew what they had to do. What? Are you crazy? Hush now. She saved our death. Okay, then. Stay up here, and start firing when I engage. some of this stealthiness. What if I could just run in the stealth? Well, let's wait till he starts being suspicious. Here we go. It is time. Nope. Nope. Almost there. Almost there. Gotcha. It is time. Oh, don't you move on me. Oh crap! <laughs> he knew what I was trying. Oh my god, he like glides. Oh, okay, he's mean. He's gonna make it really hard to hit those points. Oh, and he's incapacitating me. There we go. Shotcha! Not that much help. Put that on you. Right on the neck. That should be useful. Kaboom! Yeah. Follow me, buddy. Let's go. Okay, you ready for this? Oh, you thought you'd get me with the spinny thing? Not today. Not to the oh crap. Oh, not the thing. <laughs> it's not stopping. Oh. oh my god, this water. I thought it was so tricky flying over it. And then it just kept going. Get it? Oh, I missed. Crap. <laughs> Got it. Oh, wasn't ready for that follow-up. That hurt. Wow, this stuff is lasting a while. One more. Got it. Put this on him. Ow. Oh, 
Oh, wrong side. I get it. No. Got it. I know he's got one more electricity thing. And got it. <laughs> oh, wait. No, I didn't. Crap, I hit the plasma one. Oh, God, the water. All right, so I think the trick... Ow. I think the trick is actually to stay close. Nope, well, close is bad. Don't do close. Close is... No, oh, God. I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Oh, no, I got it off. I got the healing off. Oh, right. Toughen. Oh, ow. Oh, he's got way too many water tricks. Nope. And gotcha. Oh, he's done. Oh crap, I totally forgot about the tail, thank you. I don't know if I have enough time now. Let's find out. He might die. Totally forgot I was supposed to get the tail. Oh, I don't know about this, guys. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna get that tail off. Oh, oh god! I'm basically dead. I don't know if I can pull it off. Oh, I got it! Nice! Oh, oh god! Down it go. All acquisition me, uh, machines killed. You did it! Nice! All right, that dude and his little water guns. <laughs> that was that was so cool though. I flew over the top, but it, alas, it was for naught. <laughs> I guess it kept me safe for a little bit, but I was really not expecting those to just keep turning like that. That was pretty brutal. Everyone okay? All right, there was a shiny over here. There it is. Mariser Sweet. Text mail from Dominique Proshko. Data corruption is minimal. From Dominique Proshko to Stanley Chen. Subject Mariser Sweet up again. Stanley, I just spoke to our broker. Sweetwater prices will likely increase again this week, meaning it will be very tough to close the budget gap on the second strip project. I think it's time to pull the plug. It's hard to believe that we offer a closed climate system that's 99.9% .9 efficient, but we can't afford the reservoir. We need to start it up. What we did with the fountain and environs just isn't repeatable, I guess. Not with today's prices. Sorry, I know you'll be disappointed. Dom. Some weird sounds. I don't know what that is. You guys all right? More than all right. This, you, we did it! <laughs> all the embers we could ever want, and it's all thanks to you. Very, uh, heartwarming. But maybe we can just, you know, grab what we came here for and get out before any more of those things decide to show up. Now, now, shard counter. Nothing wrong with a little remnant. Though we should probably let our flame-haired friend get going. I believe she has business down here, has she not? Right, of course. You need any help? I can handle it from here. Very well. 
Well, we'll start taking some of the embers upstairs. Holler if you need us. Thanks. They must be so confused. Like, what the heck? She doesn't want any of this valuable stuff? She's gonna take something else? I looted the Tide Ripper, right? I got his tail. I don't remember if I grabbed stuff off his body. I guess I did. Oh, I did not grab this, though. Is that another chest? No, I don't know what that is. What's that sound they keep hearing? I feel like there might be another machine nearby. What happens down here? Eh, just a little fountain area. Poseidon should be somewhere beyond this door. Time to bring it home. All right, Poseidon, we got plans for you. Maybe I'm hearing Poseidon. should be hiding in some kind of processor. I need to find a console to gain access to it. All right, well, we got another data point. That was a big server room. Impressive. There. I should be able to use that console. Against all odds. I can't do it. I can't give up on this place. I'm leaving everything on standby. The system's equipped for runs for decades, if not hundreds of years. It's a long shot. But maybe someday, against all odds, someone will find this place again. Marvel at its lights and wonders. Discover a fortune and boundless opportunity. Make it their own dream. After all, if the city can give me a second chance, if water can flow in the wasteland, anything's possible. He was right. Some really interesting music they have playing. Hacked again. Text law data corruption is partial. Hidden in the AC code, someone must have inserted it via a thermostat interface. Pretty funny, actually. You know that hollow ad for the Craveman Review over at the Vodka? Review? I, I don't know what that... Re R-E-V-U-E? Anyways, over at the Vodka. Well, their uh, loincloths disappeared. Went on for almost an hour before we shut it down. Chuckles aside, we can't let it happen again. I've been over the environmental and hollow systems and they look okay. On your shift, have a look at the water infiltration code. Hate to think what might happen if those systems were compromised. Would be a lot worse than a few naked Neanderthals on the strip. I'm here to bring you home, Poseidon. To Gaia. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Restoring Poseidon's subordinate function to original code. Okay. Gotta bring this back to Gaia. And just like that, we had our second subordinates, uh, subordinate function. I guess it's our third now. Oh, no, no, it's the second. Because we got, um... What was the first one we got again? Can't remember the first one we got. 
Uh. Looks like taking Poseidon trigger to restart the city's power system. Uh, but yeah, I, whichever one we got first, and then we tried to get Aluthia, but the uh, the Zeniths had already taken it, and that's where we got Beta, our clone, and now we have Poseidon. Roland and crew must have headed back up top. <laughs> With all the embers they could carry, I bet. Ah, cool. All the neon stuff turned back on. Alright, so this is more like it. This is what I was expecting. This is more like it. Whew. That'll keep me awake. Yeah, this is cool. Let me look around real quick. Oh, Ether was the first one I got, yeah. Yeah, this is cool. Alright, this is what I expected from Vegas. My eyes! The goggles, they do nothing! Welcome to Sin City, everybody. Oh, do I have that one? I do. Fat shake. <laughs> I could use a fat shake. That sounds good. Okay, where's the uh, elevator shaft again? Oh, I think it's through here. Quite different when it's not completely underwater. Surprised there's no shinies in this entire area. But maybe this is the part where the previous delvers picked it over. It never got deep enough. Where am I supposed to go from here? Over here, man? Aha! Well, if I ever want to go back down there, we can repel. Only reason is if I somehow missed uh, audio log or something. I had that one. An elevator. Marlon must have built this before the place flooded. Nice to work. Be nice not to have to climb back up.
Oh, that's what the upstairs is for. Oh, I never got this apparently. Whatever she did. Legacy ensured, our hero beheld the sea of desert lights and wept at his good fortune. When I saw the embers as a child, I never dreamed they could be like this. Thank you, Aloy. Well, did you find what you were looking for? I did. And now I have to move on. Oh. Oh. Come back when you can. I got big plans for this place. I thought you wanted to put on shows with the Emperors back in the claim. Oh, no. This is the show. Oh, can you imagine? Folks from all over the land coming to take it all in. Plus, some food and a nice place to stay. Not to mention a variety of entertainment venues. Uh, don't forget, games of chance. Plenty of shards to be had there for certain. <laughs> A new dream, huh? I am. Um, I hope you make it happen. Goodbye, gentlemen. This delve is a story for the ages. All thanks to you. Moreland and crew's gonna stay. Maybe I should come back and check on them later. For now, I need to get Poseidon back to Gaia. But with all the ruins here, I might want to look around before I head back. And with my new diving mask, I can swim as deep as I need to. Like at those deep water sites I found earlier. Alright, this is cool. <laughs> this is really cool. I like it. Change the scenery of this place just a little bit. Hey, Laurent. Welcome to the stream. Good to have you and good timing. Quite the spectacle we've got here. Where they can play, you know, um, um, parlor games. Like a carnival? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, 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 like, we should make it sound extra big and, and extra fun. You mean call it something like carnival carnival? Okay, just saying something twice doesn't make it sound better, Abaddon. All right. Well, uh, before I go back to the base with Poseidon, I want to check out these underwater places I've got. So I've got a sunken cavern over there, which I don't even remember this. This was super early in the game. Oh, actually, I think I do remember that one. I remember this one. So maybe we'll start there. Let's go there. I'm looking at the new Mafia. <laughs> Hopefully not. They seem like good guys. But power and money corrupt. We shall see. Wait. She has weapons? You have. Ow. She doesn't have anything. A harness for a bar drudge. It will let them carry 20 flaggies at a time. That sounds like genius. Let me have a look. All right. But remember, the patent is mine. Bet you 50 shards they get eaten by the Tanakh. King of Vod managed to make peace with us, didn't he? The Tanakhs drove the Red Raids out with half our numbers. Now that tells you something. That you believe hearsay too easily? You really think they'll put up with all that Karja talking? Put up with yours. Delving and forging do not guarantee success. Brewing ale does. Still some eavesdrop in here. Here 
it too. If you hear who's in charge now. We perfectly have uh just a just a let's play. I don't do walkthroughs anymore on the channel. We're going into the cabin. This is one of the first places we discovered in the game. And finally, we can fully explore it. Uh, sir, while you are here, you should head to Chain Scrape. There may be some hidden glyphs there. What do you mean by glyph? Oh, do you mean data points? I, ha I got some data points in Chain Scrape. Alright, well, anyways, what is this? down here then out of nowhere tide ripper <laughs> that would suck <laughs> quick to the exit uh, this just looks like a green shine spot and quite the green shine spot we even got a cluster there's gonna be DLC for horizon oh I would be surprised if there isn't. I believe the DLC for the first game didn't come out for a long time after its release though. Like a good half a year at least. Alright, apparently this is complete. Did I come down again? <laughs> Not seeing my exit. There, oh, over here. Over here. All right, let's make sure I didn't miss anything. Well, we should be good. Seems like it. Okay. We are moving on. Let's see. Four up. No, oh, I wanted to try out this one over here, which I don't remember. Wait a minute. Huh. I don't remember this one. Isn't this where that one group of Karja was with the dude that, like, insisted on going up to the tower where he died? I don't remember the, the whole story behind it, but basically he was a dummy. And then he died, and then I talked the, the others into leaving. It's this place, right? Yeah. Is there a cavern here? I don't remember a cavern. Uh, apparently it's lower, though. Hmm. Oh, uh, there's some new data points in Chain Scrape after a, wh a bit. We can take a look. I can go after I do this. I think I need to drop down. Actually, hold on. Now this is starting to feel a little familiar. I think the entrance might be over here. Nope, still not remembering this. But presumably it's down here somewhere. Oh, is it behind the waterfall? Oh, I... I don't really remember this, but it was a long time ago. Either way, down we go. Oh, 
I didn't even see that. Screws the crack. Oh, we got an unknown location. I wonder what that is. I can pry that open, but before I do that, anything else? place lots of green shine and others that's as clean as I'm gonna get out here <laughs> oh. couldn't quite get there oh what the whoa crap I broke it oh no can I fix this uh oh uh oh, we did bad. I don't know if I can get out of this. No! Crap, I hope my last autosave wasn't too far back. I broke the game. Well, let's see how badly we can break it. So can't get completely out of the map. How could I? Oh, can't go that way. Oh wait, hold on. I can glide. Oh, going down. Nope. I can't. Oh, fast travel would work, but then I'd have to come back. Oh wait. Oh, I thought I got out for a second. Still somewhat hopeful I can get out, but I don't. I don't think it's gonna happen. Come on, Aloy. Get out of here. You got this. Slightly breaking the immersion. Just slightly. Alright, I'll fast travel out. Actually, can I fast travel there? Oh, I can. Nice. I thought I had to leave completely. Oh, actually, can I... If I could fast travel to the entrance, does that mean I could have just fast traveled straight to these areas instead of the nearby campfires? Because if so, I did it wrong. Crap, where am I? Oh wow, that's not even near it. Okay, whatever I did last time... Don't do that again. Uh. Wait, when was that entrance again? Wait, did it bug out and like close the wall? Or did I just forget where I oh okay, it's right here. I was like, it better not have. Cause then I have to reload. Okay, so we know where not to go. The question is, if I can't go up that way, what's my alternative? I guess my inter alternative's right here. The wall didn't eat us this time. It 
Interesting, it did not say we're complete yet. Potentially there's more? Should have said... Oh, there we go. And now we're complete. Okay, according to Danny, we should go back to Chain Scrape. We will do that. supply cash here like all been gone for good never thought i'd see the day it's about time he went crawling back to whatever damn hole he came from oh we got somebody to talk to up there outfits armor oh man Oh, it's that lady I was talking about. Lukasha, how have you been? Better now, Aloy. When we laid Savohar to rest, I prayed and prayed. I wanted guidance so badly. A way forward. A new home for our people. But no vision came. So what did you do? At first, I felt despair. But then it occurred to me. Maybe I saw no vision because the answer was right before my eyes. Maybe the twilight path led us right where we are supposed to be. Maybe our new home is here. Petra has been kind to us. Given us food. Found us work. Some are even helping with her forge. I'm glad you found your place, Lakasha. Chain scrape is no paradise. But it is enough. What about you, Aloy? Have you found your place? I am. Um, I, I don't know. I'm not sure I have one. Sounds like you need a beacon. I hope you find it. And your home. <laughs> Just walk away. Savohar now walks unburdened in the house of the sun. But I miss him still. After Ulvin was deposed, Toland was soon to follow. As sun burns away shadows. It's comforting to know that there is no arduous journey ahead. We are home. Savohar now walks unburdened in the house of the sun. Alrighty. Let's see what else might be around. Who's that over there? Oh, that's the herbalist. Been a long time since I've been to Chain Scrape, that's for sure. Well, we have a moderate valuables cache over there. I don't see any new data points. Danny? You sure? Oh, actually, maybe that. Rumors of the Tanakh. Is that new? I don't think that's new. Uh, I don't think that's new. It didn't pop up as new. No, that was in that tower or whatever. That's not new. But what is that other thing that I was picking up? I don't see it now. Oh, it's right here. Alright, I'm confused about this treasure. It seems to be over here? Is there like some sort of cave underneath? Yeah, it's in there. 
the heck? What? How does that work? It doesn't seem right. What's going on here? I am confuzzled. Anybody see a way down? Because I don't. At all. That seems impossible. Unless... No, I was going to say, unless it... Well, it's near it. Alright, I'm going to go down into that cave and maybe I miss some treasure in there. Because that cave is right here. Maybe it turns to the right, I don't know. No, it's over there. Might be a bug, it might be, because I'm not seeing any way to get to that. It just seems completely underground. In fact, I briefly saw something else. Oh wait, maybe I hadn't seen that. What the heck? All right, hold on, what does this say? Rumors of the Tanakh, a small glyph book on cheap parchment illustrated with exaggerated sketches of ruthless Tanakh raiders. Rumors of the Tanakh by the well-traveled Aram. As you by now well know, dear readers, there are few mysteries under the sun that I have not already laid bare. Among that tiny number is one that stirs dread in anyone with true Karja heritage, the terrifying enigma of the bloodthirsty Tanakh. But no matter what trepidation they inspire, I regarded it as my sacred duty to cast light upon these primal denizens of the West, born and bred where the sun disappears over the horizon. So I risked life and limb to march towards the very edge of civilization. Alas, my progress was halted at the battlements of barren light, still in recovery from the destruction wrought by the last Tanakh raid. I demanded its gargantuan gates be opened to me, but the fortress's brave kestrels could not in good conscience let pass this explorer of immaculate reputation. Upon hearing of their first-hand experiences, I resigned myself to their expert judgment. Indeed, their abhorrent tales knew no end. They spoke of hordes of raiders who stalk machines unknown to even the most seasoned Karja hunters, impaling them with blade spears twice the size of grown men. Like their carapace-shaped armor, this weaponry is crafted from the bones not just of machines, but also from their fallen brethren. A notion most horrid, but it led me to the question I wish I'd never gotten an answer to. What of the Tanakhs penchant for cannibalism? I must warn those weaker of heart and stomach to stop reading here, for even I was shaken to the core by the following revelations. While the Tanakh do not consume human flesh for sustenance, as some rumors suggest, the truth is even more appalling. They drink the blood of their flow or they drink the blood of their foes to ritualistically absorb their memories. Some even insist the brutes infuse their skins with it as one would with quill and ink. And blood is not the only thing they thieve from their opponents. Oh no. Brace yourselves, dear readers, for the Tanakh steal children, children, during their raids, only to raise them in their own bestial ways, a fate so terrible it is not to be wished upon the whelps of one's worst enemy. As you can see, I have ascertained that the West is not forbidden out of spite, but out of sheer necessity. The gates of barren light hold back a danger that makes the deadly Nora seem like a crash, a crash, a crash of harmless babes. As I returned to the peace and glory of Meridian, I thanked the sun that I was spared a gory doom. Uh, I don't remember that data point, and if I got it, it must be near the treasure thing, because they're both quite underground. So what? the heck how did I get there if I did it before or was it over here nope I'm super confused what the heck is going on is there some mysterious cave I wonder if there's like a no I don't get it wait was that where I saw my eyebrows. I don't remember this. 
Oh, actually, I, th I think I do remember that. There's the machine strike player. Yeah, I don't understand. Well, may as well talk to them again. Hey, Red! How's the javelin thrower tree? Yeah. Hope you're having a blast. Uh, anybody have any ideas? Because that seems out of reach. Completely out of reach. It's there. And for some reason, that data point's not even showing up anymore. So I'm also confused by that. Alright, well, this is gonna remain a mystery for now, because I don't get it. So, we're just gonna move on. So. Let's see. I know I have more underwater stuff than that. Oh, we have the sunken wreck that we couldn't do before. What was that one again? Drowned hopes, I think. A pair of Karja academics seek to return to their dig site to, so they may continue their search for relics and the truth of what happened to the or in the ancient past. Well, let's go do that one. Oh, and I gotta make... Um I gotta make some more fast travel packs, and I may as well use the the um, campfire because I'm right near it. Well, uh, you know what? Let's just make a ton of these. It's not like I'm not like I'm lacking. Oh wait, did I miss one? No, no, good. So yeah, let's go here. The Jagged Deep Delve. It's a fishy. Alright, so we'll get this first. It's just lying around. Oh, I wonder if I need something else to get in here. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, I remember now. I needed, um... I needed Wide Maw parts. Examine security console. For my override. Alright, go to the coordinates on the console. Oh, grab that. Wow, I finally made a live vid. Love what you're doing. Thank you for the series. My pleasure, Emily. Welcome to the stream. We got two Emilys now. They're multiplying. Oh, I missed something back here. Oh, 
All right, where is this other one? Oh, it's actually not close at all. It's way over there. Well then. Uh, hmm. Don't want to go mess with Mr. Thunderjaw. I can't remember if that one was an apex or not. Let's go see. If he's not an apex, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go fight him. How many potions do I have? Uh, I thought I had potions. What the heck? I I just saw myself pick up potions. Oh, you know what? I might have. Yeah, I've got these other potions that are taking up space. That's what's going on. You space takers. Well, may as well get through some of these stamina potions. That doesn't make sense though, because I've only got three stamina potions. Oh, I got. Never mind, I got a lot of them actually. Alright, well, whatever. Stamina's good, especially against Thunderjaw. Oh, there he is. Oh, he doesn't seem to be an apex. I don't think he is. He is not. We might have to go say hello. Let's start. With the big blasty. Alright, I'm gonna go for those disc launchers. Boom! Oh boy, that barely did anything. That's right, the one Thunder Jive successfully killed was with uh, our friend. Oh boy. Oh, why did I use a stamina potion right there? That was silly. More of this. Uh, boom! Oh. oh, what? Through the rock? You cheater. Here, take some of this. Use that stamina potion. Oh, God. Lost me. <laughs> out of the shadows. Oh, get that out of here. I'm going toughen'. I'm going toughen' because I'm getting a little crazy. I'm getting a little crazy. Look out. Oh, I missed. Dang it. Stupid crap out of the way. Gotcha! <laughs> Ow! He's getting a little. Oh no, don't get in the way! One last one, perfect. Drop this on his foot. Nice. Back off. Kaboom! That give me this. Uh oh. Oh, there's a disc launcher around here I could grab. Line it up. Boom. Right, where's stamina potion? Stamina potion. Drink it. Hello. Oh, did you lose me? You fi oh, in the heart! Oh, got him in the heart! I'm coming! First one I've hit in the heart. Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. Switch to lightning. And boom! Nope, missed. Got it. Come on in. Got some help. I, I do want to pick up that this launcher though. That'd be great. This on his neck. Oh, 
Hopefully I can take care of that. Nope. Hold on. Got it. All right, where's that disc launcher? Where's that disc launcher? Oh god, he's coming. Ow. Where's that disc launcher? Dang it. Where did I get that thing off? Line it up. Oh. Oh, miss. Oh. oh, that was a terrible shot. What was that? Look out. So hit that. I got no th oh, God. Got it. Run away. <laughs> All right. Pick it up. Where'd it go? There it is. Oh, what's that? Oh, God. Oh. All right, you know what? His heart is exposed. Maybe we just hit the heart. Oh, wait. No, it's not. Life. That disc launcher. All right, you know what? I'm going to go hardened. So if he hits me, I can take it. Getting that freaking disc launcher. You are mine. Here we go. Oh. Yeah, I kicked that. Yeah. Are oh, you like that? Oh, that's it? That's all I got? What the heck? Um, boom. Oh, God. Uh oh no 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 I don't want it. I don't want it <laughs> I didn't mean it oh god oh god get me out of there come on hit him in the heart where's that oh whatever just hit him there oh yeah you want some of this no, I did nothing. God, he doesn't stop. Take that. <laughs> he has unlimited ammo, but when you use it, it has three to four shots. That's unfair. Yeah, I agree. Either way, he's been defeated. First Thunder job taken on my own, I believe. Thunderjaw Radar. Detection device emits a pulse that reveals enemies, including those in stealth and scrambles focus signals. Huh. Well, it's a good thing I didn't fight him near that. Or, I guess I ripped that off of him. Never mind. I guess I did fight him with that, but he didn't use it on me. At least not that I saw. Good to have extra. Oh, I hate this. You'll like get stuck climbing. It happens all the time. There we go. Actually got out of it though. Alright, so my little drone friends flying around. Oh. Oh, right. We have a black boss, I think. Oh. That's over there. Or not completed. Oh, I think it was... Yes, there was a black box near some snap moths and I, or something. I said I was going to return one day. And I think it was here. I think it was there. So we're going to go there, too. Because there was something down there. Unfortunately, that means I'll have to fight those stupid snap moths, but... Whatever. I actually need the snap moths, I think. Oh my god, you didn't jump. 
<laughs> what the heck, Aloy? Oh, I thought I had that. With the dome. All right, we've got six drones now. Drones completed. Alrighty, so if we look at a map, we're going down there. We will hit a uh, what is that one again? Blocked path. Missing tool needed. I don't remember that one at all. That might be the metal flower. All right, well, let's go down to this campfire. Keep some extra on hand. Uh, oh. May as well get some red wood. This area. Nice little oasis. Hey, it's a data point. Oh no. Huh. This note mentions of the nuke. I had visions after drinking machine oil. Sounds familiar. Oh my god, it's this guy again? Or did they just try to drink the oil like that crazy dude? I don't if you all didn't know, there was some crazy dude. In the first game, you go and get him like different machine oils and he drinks them. <laughs> and then he has visions. Uh, machine drains, uh, scanned glyphs, book, an oil stained journal filled with messy scrawled glyphs. So there we were, picking our way along the trail when we saw him. A Banuk shaman in the Forbidden West. A sight as strange as a car just sw swinging a hammer. But that wasn't where the strangeness ended. Oh no. This Banuk was kneeling beside a bristleback carcass, slurping its oil as a man dying of thirst laps up a puddle. And here I thought the Tanakh were the crazy blood drinkers. And that's when he noticed us. A smile on his stained lips, oil streaks running down his chin. Kept muttering some nonsense about machine dreams and visions. And then he shouted he had to keep running to the place of flame and brine, whatever that is. And then off he scattered, quick as, quick as a startled rabbit. So tonight... We downed six rounds of Spitfire Ale when Volgert brought out a heavy flask. Machine oil slicked down its side. Now I'm as sensible as any other of my kinsmen, but I wasn't about to back down from a dare and let that soft welded bolt brain think he's made of tougher stuff. Ugh. Gut won't stop aching. Better sleep it off. Everybody else passed out already. Who knows, maybe they're dreaming of ravagers dancing in a meadow. Oof. Gotta remember to punch Volgert in the morning, right where it counts. Well, apparently that dude's got an iron stomach because nobody else can manage it. Well, I guess she's the only dead one. Unless there's... Oh, never mind. I'm blind. They all died. He's the chosen one. Well, we got a sliver over here. I really hope we run into that guy again. I want to feed him oil, see what he can take. For something special. Get him some Tide Ripper blood. Oh, we got some Glenhawks. 
Unless I think it's a Glen Hawk. It is... A Sky Drifter. Oh, these are easy. These aren't so bad. You can hit them with the lightning. With the electric shot. These are the coordinates I got from the console I found. Which means there should be another one somewhere around here. Wait. Can I override Ravagers now? The Ravager hung the prowl. And armed for a fight. Possibly. Let's find out. Nope. <laughs> that is a no. Oh, I messed that one up. That was bad. Oh, God. His buddy was there. Alright, well, making it more interesting. I somehow lost track of me. Whoa! Hello! Came out of frickin' nowhere. Alright, he does have plasma I could hit. I haven't actually tried hitting anything with plasma yet, but there's always a time to start. Oh, but that was the wrong thing. I, I think smarter thing to do, though, would be to just get one of these helpers overridden. Nice. So. Time to fall off. And got him. Oh, you could have disengaged there, Aloy. A little slow. and do some melee. Kaboom! Alright, me and you, buddy. Let's go. I can't do my melee attacks on Ravagers because they're mean. Oh, he barely caught me with his mouth. That was lame. Alright, he's done. Where's that, uh... Sky Drifter? There he is. Hello! Face me. Got him. Oh, knocked him down. It's over. Fox just watching. Oh, after cannon, could have used that. Oh well. I didn't remember ripping it off. I. This looks like some sort of old defensive outpost. Something definitely changed from the first game to this game, though. I remember being able to consistently pick up weapons from the enemies I was fighting and using use them against them and I can't in this game I think they're just way more aggressive kind of makes the heavy weapons pointless at least on this difficulty maybe on the lower difficulties you can get away with it but here good freaking luck as you saw with the disc launcher I barely got in my hands before he was rushing me There's a shiny up there. I'm gonna go grab that.
Oh, can I just break it? No. Don't see anywhere to use a pull caster. Maybe we can go this way. Aha. I found it really easy to lose the heavy weapons in the heat of battle. That too, they're they're difficult to find and pick up, but even when you manage to find them and attempt to pick them up, you just get you just get rushed like immediately. You get no chance to use it. Almost every time I pick them up, it's just gotten me hit. <laughs> and they they're not that great. I don't, but I don't remember enough in the first game to know why it's different. I just know that it's different. I know in the first game I was actually capable of using their weapons against them, but here it's usually I can't. We're going deep. Look at this. This is unexpected. Uh, where was that shiny? It's there. Okay. Go up here. No. Nope. Nope. Go down. Okay. Hey, hey. Eloy. Hey, Loy. <laughs> Stop it. Go over there. There we go. Alright, what about in here? Okay, so that's where the quest thing is, but what else do we have around here? I love this kind of stuff where you go into something that you're like, oh, this is nothing, and it turns into this Another giant area. I like that stuff. Alright, there's gotta be something at the bottom, right? I wouldn't be there for no reason. Oh my gosh, she's so stubborn in here. I saw something. Oh, there it is. Maybe it's why there is stuff like sticky and better override to slow distract large machines while using heavy weapons, but that's a lot of efforts. Yeah, I mean, there's certainly ways to, to use it against them. It just feels like in the first game you didn't have to, like, jump through a bunch of hoops to do it. And yeah, I'm I'm the same. I haven't tried using the the um, adhesive weapon at all. I just ha I don't really see the need. The quick machines I can just kill, and the the machines that are big and annoy me, like slowing them down, doesn't really seem all that useful to me. Like there's no quick machines that bother me. Alright, we got another vault key. It's raining hell over here, Sergeant! <sighs> no shit, Corporal. The egghead over at Voltos needs our security key to get the mobile cover prototype out of here. Get to the console and get it out of here! We have a second enemy contact incoming! Another horse! Someone call in that goddamn airstrike! Another access key that never got to this prototype. There's coordinates for a third one nearby. Maybe I can find it. Alrighty, a third one.
Okay. So, th oh, third one's very close. And then that I wanted to go check out because that um, was one of the black boxes, I think. Either way, it was underwater. I couldn't go there. And also, speaking of... I think there was some stuff in here I couldn't get before, too. So this is just going to the the place that um, Silence had set up as his little workshop area. There's also some stuff up there, which is interesting. I wonder what that is. Maybe we'll check that out, too, since we're in the area. Let's go over here first, though. Actually, you know what? Extra stock for later. Maybe we'll go up there first. I feel like there's something up there. At least these guys seem to be guarding it. Oh, peace on me. Get up there before he attacks me. Crap, hurry! Hurry, Aloy! Climb! Alright, good. Oh boy. Oh, what the heck is going on over here? Wait, he just eat that thing? What the heck? I just witness. These are all apexes? I don't understand what's going on. Oh my god. Alright, he is gonna launch that at me, isn't he? Oh man, fighting a group of these sucks. him. Hey, wait, I can override sleep flashers, can't I? Oh my god! Alright, you know what? I'm gonna go toughen for this because I feel like I'm gonna get hit. Ow. Here, take this. Oh, you missed the Aloy! Oh, I jumped way too early there. That was silly. There we go. Alright, can I override him? No, but I can critical spray. And I can also do this. Alright, group up. Group up for the blast. Nobody grouped. It's alright though, I got this one. Oh, ran right into it. Dumb. Yeah, I feel like there's no good way to take these guys out except for melee. They don't have any, like, really easy weak points to hit, in my opinion. I feel like melee's the only reasonable way. Ow! Just in time. Here, catch this. Him. What the? Oh, what the? Whoa! What was that? I've never seen that before. You guys ever seen that before? That was nuts. Quick focus is on this. Oh, that explosion got both, I think. Oh god! Oh, <laughs> I couldn't dodge both. Here, take this. Oh my god, they're so obnoxious. Alright, there. Down to one. Down to one. One we can deal with. 
think that's a really rare attack. Yeah, I mean, I fought a decent amount of Leap Lashes. I've never seen that nonsense before. <laughs> oh, they were Apexes. They didn't look like Apexes. That's why they were such a nightmare. Okay, that makes more sense. I was like, why am I struggling so much with these dudes? Oh, right, I totally forgot there were birds. Where'd the birds go? Oh, they were just watching. They do that sometimes. <laughs> they break sometimes. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Have some of this. Uh, I'm stuck. Okay. Um, I'm still stuck. And uh, that was an apex game drifter. Well, that would have made it even worse if we had to fight all of them at the same time. Luckily, we did not. Although I shouldn't say luckily. I don't like to. I don't like to cheese, but nothing I can do if they break on their own. Supposed to be a thing here. Where do you go? Down there. Oh, I see now. Well, we did all that fighting and apparently it was for something good. It looks like a type of green shine I've never seen before. It's orange. Looks like we get in over here. Uh, how do I get in there? I see a way out. I don't see a way in. The fox managed it. What the heck? Alright, fox, show me how. the secret here I don't see any places to launch off of but if the fox can figure it out I feel like I can figure it out although it might require something I don't have yet you can't get in right now well that's lame all right well I knew there was something up there, it just felt like one of those places, but apparently I went a little too early. Oh, did I not put a marker? Oh, I did. Uh, Silence workshop, if you want to call it that. His torture chamber for Hephaestus. Or not for Hephaestus, the uh, the other one. Uh, man, why am I so bad at remembering their name? Oh, what is that? What are we dealing with over here? Apex Wide Maw. Oof. An Apex Leap Lasher. Well, that's rude. Do I need to fight them for any reason? I don't think so. I might just avoid them. I do need some wide mod tusks, but I don't feel like dealing with that nonsense. What do we got over here? The coordinates I found lead here. Apex Sky Drift. There's gonna be another one of those consoles around. Oh, crap. No! Do I still need Sky Drifter Tails? Well, if I do, an apex is probably not the time. Let's just blast him in the face. How's that sound? 
Oh my god, that did a lot of damage. Oh, I think he broke. And these things are broken. Maybe I'll find something underwater. I did it. I'm the best. I am the best. Oh, I got white Montas? Oh, that's right, I did. I just need to go turn them in, huh? I remember I fought some Apexes and it sucked, but I got it done. Well, fighting the Apex was one that bad. Specifically, getting the the tusks was crappy. Devil's Slide. Sounds like a playground from hell. <laughs> a tour de force of skill. Indeed. I I'm sorry, I should have mentally prepared you all for that. Hopefully you're okay. Third console was significantly easy to get easier to get to than the other ones. The vault key. Hello, Ebex outside, Doc. Done, thank God. The mobile cover prototype is locked in the vault. I need all three keys to open it, including yours. Nope. VP rank means I've got a golden ticket to Elysium. If you want that key, come back and get it your... Uh-oh. Well done with a red charmer. Typical for Pharaoh, I guess. Got three of those keys. And... Another set of coordinates. Maybe where they were intended to go in the first place. Okay. We have presumably the final set of coordinates. Over there. Dread Bluff. I don't remember Dread Bluff. At all. What the heck was Dread Bluff? Oh, that's the place I just was, derp. Never mind. Alright, so maybe I actually can override um, Leap Lashers in the last battle. I didn't realize I was fighting Apex. I think I do have an override for them. So if I could get one of them as a buddy, that'd really help. Ugh. Refreshing, I guess. I think that we can. Oh, wait, I'm going completely the wrong way. So never mind, screw that. No reason. Oh, they are guarding something. Alright, screw it. I'll fight them. Apparently, I don't need the tusks anymore, so we don't have to worry about that. Maybe I can get a leap flash, your friend. That would certainly speed things up. I really hate fighting wide moths. They're not even difficult, they're just annoying. Alright, well, if we're gonna get a leap lasher, we should get this one over here because he's isolated. Nope. Wait, he's not at Apex, is he? Oh, he is an Apex! Crap, are you an Apex? No! Why you do this to me? Alright, well, regardless. We are starting with the Leap Lashers, so let's say hello. Don't 
going toughen. He's about to get a beat. Oh crap! I'm stuck. Oh my god, that range! Insane. Insane range. Gotcha. Oh no! Kaboom. He's almost dead. Got him. Ah, crap. Getting hit by that. Hit him with a braced shot. Got him. Oh, you got in the way. Oh, get knocked down. doing to you jerks what are we doing maybe tear blast try to get that crap off oh it's plasma that's interesting so I think the best way to use plasma would be what's he doing He's acting super strange. I think the best way to do plasma would be to activate it and then smack him with two, um, two brace shots. Wait, I thought I exposed his, but apparently I didn't. I guess I didn't. All right, never mind. I thought it was a uh, something else. All right, maybe they don't have plasma though. Right in the mouth. Boom! Right in the mouth. Alright. Try to shoot that off, I guess. Yeah, okay, now they do have plasma. Wonder what's going on with it then? Come on, expose it. Oh I got it! I think. Did I? Yep, yep, yep. Okay, hold on. I want brace shot. Oh ow. Holy crap, that hurt. Oh, I'm stuck, too. I wonder how Come on, brace shot. Oh, no. Oh, he interrupted it. What the heck? All right, hurry up. There we go. So uh, it's supposed to hit him for that same damage, right? Yep, I think it just did. All right, not super great. Uh-oh. Toughened. Oh, welcome, berries. Oh, crap. Oh, it's not a berries. What am I doing? Oh, God. Ow. I'm having a bad time. Alright, so take some stamina. Grace shot. I think they lost me. Not for long, though. Alright, he's almost dead. <laughs> well, if you're gonna show me your butt, I'll hit your weak point. Of juice. Got him. All right, good. One on one's not so bad. They have friends. God. Terror blast. Hair 
blast right there should work. Let's see, it did expose it, I think. Yes, it did. Missed. Not gonna reveal that spot to me, is he? Come on, do something. Yeah, I think that's a far better strategy than what I've done in the past. Like, just wait for. Ah, oh, crap. Well, this is gonna potentially get me. No, nope, we're good. It's like they know when their weak point is exposed, they will not show that side. I think they know. I think they're smart. Alright, well, whatever. If I shoot him in the mouth, it does decent damage. I'll just do that, I guess. If he opens his mouth, then he gets even more damage. Oh god, nope. See, I don't know what to do about that. Like, you're just getting hit. Oh, actually, I got away. What the heck? That should have hit me. I'll take it. But I'm confused. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, wait. I f oh, I went right into that. That was silly. Hold on, hold on. I need. Berries somewhere. Berries, please. Uh oh, no! <laughs> I need some more berries. Oh, here we go. Woo! If I could just hit that plasma thing, that would be great. Nope. Get away. Get away! Oh my god, you can't move! Alright, you know what? Why am I not doing great shot? I don't know. There we go. I really, like, I had in my head that I just really wanted to do the, um, the plasma, but it never worked out. That's why I wasn't using it. I'm just like, alright, I'm gonna hit him with plasma, it's gonna be fine, then I'll hit him with the brace shot, and they'll do the double damage, or whatever it is, and, yeah. Obviously that didn't work. There's got to be a better way, like... Those are one of the more frustrating enemies because... Ugh. Those are one of the more frustrating enemies because you simply can't exploit anything particularly good on them. Like, even Thunderjaws, like, I can really bully a Thunderjaw because they've got all of those electrical coils I can hit, but... But those snap maws, it's just nothing. Shannon, you could use triple shot on your regular bow. I don't, like, I remember it was really good on the first game. I don't feel like it's that great on this game. I don't know, I could try it. I think the one that was actually slightly more appealing was the one where you do a shot on him and then like you hit him for a decent amount of damage but then you fall if you follow up with a melee it does like an explosion that one seemed pretty potent I haven't used it much since I initially tried it but that one seemed like it had the, the most potential 
I really like the melee, but it's very binary in this game. It either works and it works well, or it doesn't work at all. And you're gonna get your butt kicked if you even attempt it. Like the Ravagers are a good example. If you try to melee a Ravager, it's just pointless. They'll do their little electrical blast and then you're screwed. Honestly, a lot of the weapon techniques have been pretty underwhelming. As evidenced on the Slitherfang that we fought, potentially the arrow rain is really, really good when something is frozen. I like the exploding javelins. I like braced shot. And that's kind of it. I'm a big fan of all the others. And actually, I'm kind of becoming less of a fan of of toughened. I might go off a of toughened. Maybe go back to ranged master. It also reco Wait, it recovers health per hit? Oh, I missed that part. Weapon technique damage goes up 20%. Weapon stamina? Alright, yeah, we're gonna go with ranged master. Oh, I just upgraded it. But that's fine. We'll equip it. So now it's even better. I miss stealth rockets. I could use some rockets. How am I tonight? I'm doing okay. Still busy, busy working. I'll be back to work as soon as this stream is over. Alright, we found. That was another sunken cavern. I do like all the underwater stuff in this game, but I feel like they introduced it way too slowly. Like, they should have really given me this breathing apparatus way sooner, in my opinion. And yes, I know I could have gotten it sooner than I did, but either way, I still think it should have just been early on in the game that we got one of these. Maybe not like super early, but earlier than we did. It would have been nice. Alright, what do we what do we got up here? Oh god, another snap mark. Please don't tell me those are Apex. Oh, of course. Looks like a you? facility used to be here. This place got hit hard. The vault mentioned in the recordings should be in here somewhere. I just have to follow the coordinates. Alright, well. Uh, let me make this. Once again. I'll get the leap lashes first. What? Uh, that seemed online to me. What the heck? I'm confused by that. That looked like a pretty good shot to me. Well, at least they didn't catch me yet. Hello. Um. Oh, I bugged out. How lame. Alright, there we go. Now I can actually do it. Look out. Oh boy. Oh, come on. How did that hit? 
Let's try out ranged master. Let's go braced shot. Kaboom. Oh, 710, not bad. Not bad, let me drop this. Get this. Set up a little defensive perimeter. I don't know why they can't find me, but hey, I'll take it. Oh, right in the eyeball. Apparently eyeball's a weak spot. Get him to walk into that explosive. Right over here. Boom. Nice. Oh, it froze him too. Oh, wait, why did I run in? That was stupid. I don't know why I did that. Oh, get wrecked. Alright, good. It's as clean as I'm gonna get on one of those dudes. Uh. Is he scared? Let's get him on. Hey! Face me! <laughs> what are you doing? Get over here! Even like the oh! I am facing the wrong way. Oh, it'll work. Alright. Too slow. Much smoother than the last one. Face Master is cool. I don't know if it's amazing. I don't know if it's better than Toughen for all situations. Toughen's definitely good when I want to jump in and do some melee. But for something like a Snap Mod, I think Range Master is definitely superior. Although I did upgrade Range Master and I have not yet upgraded. Toughened. Perhaps I should. Try out power shots? What is power shots? Is that something I don't have yet? So a shield weaver valor surge. Oh, put these in my pack. I don't know what shield weaver is. I know some people like swear by the part breaker. I I haven't fought anything where I'm like particularly doing a ton of damage with part breaking or like it's necessary to part break like right away so I, I fail to see why part breaker is so beloved by some but yeah I know some that are like yes part breaker amazing I do like with all my upgrades though that the valor surges are happening way more frequently I think that's kind of Necessary to kill some of these in any sort of decent amount of time because they have so much health. But I'm also getting much power, much more powerful. So damage is going up. This looks promising. This was Hernan. This must be the vault mentioned in the data I found. I should be able to access it. All right. Well, presumably this will take our three keys. Shield Weaver is the OP armor from the first game. The Valor Surge basically emulates the regenerative shield for a short while. Oh, right. I remember that armor. <laughs> Man, that armor was broken. I know 
Greetings detected. Access granted. I don't think anyone's gonna make it. I'm not sure which will get me first. The airstrike or the Horus. I spent my career on the mobile cover project. Really thought I could get it to someone who could use it. I know you'll never hear this, Lily, but you told me so. I love you. Another sad ending. I should look for the mobile cover system. It sounds like it might still be here. Mobile cover system prototype. Yes, I have the prototype now. I might even be able to make something out of it if I use the data on that drive Gendos found. I want to know what happened here. All right, what is this thing? Oh, why does my notebook have stuff? All right, Burrower, I found another type. Uh, collectibles, I had another drone. Data points. Kind of all over the place. Wait. Different. Oh, audio. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's probably some quest ones in here, too. Or not. Okay. Uh, oh, and then tutorials has something new. What's tutorials have? Special gear. Ah, the diving mask. The diving mask allows you to breathe underwater, underwater indefinitely. All right, well, I gotta return to those Cardious Scholars, if any of you even remember. Uh, it wants me to exit. Oh, wait, what is that? Unknown completed? Maybe I gotta walk out first. For it to actually mark. I don't know what it is, but I did it, says Aloy. Oh, actually, maybe they're just outside. Or, no, they're way over at their their camp, so I don't know what's up with this still being unknown. Let's see, where did I come in from? I don't remember. All right, I came in from over here. I mean, I'm just full, but my pack has room. Oh, and I wanted to see what this does. Mobile cover system prototype. A prototype device recovered from an ancient research facility. Got the guy kind of full of that and the survey. Module for the drones. Okay. Oh, what was that? Is that the glide thing that popped up or was that something else? I guess it was glide. All right. Weird, why is it still showing as unknown? <sighs> Alright, that's very strange. But anyways. We're going back to here. I'll shake it out as I go. This is a bad idea. What if it's not to come back to me playing with the glory of Main Street? Nothing interesting. You've returned. You found something, didn't you? Come now. Don't just keep it to yourself. It's um difficult to explain. Please. I I just want to understand as much as I can. Definitely not a tray cover. 
The old ones fought a massive battle here against machines. Some fled, but others stayed behind to try to salvage this, to help others carry on the fight. Did they survive? So, they failed. It made it into the hands of the most renowned warrior in the Sundom, did it not? And every item we recover will be used to ensure their memory lives on. I didn't see any machines at the dig site, so yes, I suppose that is true. I'll need that tray and your workbench. I'll have to tinker with this to turn it into something I can use. Of course, Savior. It's the least we can do. May the sun light your way, as you have illuminated ours. Oh, Let's take a look at this thing. Craft the Guardian Tripcaster? Wait till the scholars hear about this! We'll go down in the history books. I'm glad you found out what happened here. Making sure we tell this story right is why I became a scholar in the first place. I'll make sure every Karja hears of the tale every time they purchase one of my exquisite pieces. I can just see it. Nobles paying the sun's weight in shards for a product with such history. It'll be my most profitable endeavor yet. I always knew there was much more to be found of our past in the West. Nice Wait till the scholars hear about this. Alright. We'll go use the workbench. Alright, so we are making the Guardian Tripcaster, a combination of old world technology and newer craftsmanship. This weapon deploys protective shields that explode after absorbing enough damage. Interesting. It's certainly unique. Maybe a tripcaster I'll actually like. Shields would certainly come in handy. Explodey shields, though, I don't know. Depends on if they explode on my face. Go oh, down in the history books. Feels right. Time to test it out. All right, looks like we leveled up again. Ho there. Level forty. Oh, and my stash. Let me recharge. All right, let me go ahead and equip this. Uh, it was a tripcaster, right? Why am I not seeing it? Oh, uh, a blue? It's a little surprising. Okay, well, like I said, I want to just try it out. So, there we go. You have so many unskinned, unspent skill points. There's nothing I'm like really dying to get at this point. I've got most of the things I really want. Although there might have been some more in Survivor that I wanted. Did I get all the way down here? Uh, no, actually I didn't care about any of this. Let's see. Well, some of you wanted me to try new Valor Surges, so maybe maybe we'll dip into Trapper. Did I ever try this one? Elemental Fury? Yeah, I guess I did. What's this one? Trap Specialist. Powered by a special mode in your focus, increases the effects of traps and tripwires while this Valor Surge is active. That's not that appealing. Oh, I forgot. You can... Shoot your own traps, though. That's more interesting. I keep having them walk right onto them. But that's right. You can do that. Interesting. I, For some reason, that didn't occur to me. Melee Maya to attach a power module to your spear, spear to deal more damage with melee attacks for a limited time. I don't know if I've actually used this. Let's equip this. I don't know if I've used that. All right, well, anyways. I've yet to see a real Tanak, but I'm none too impressed by their architecture. Last time I was back, he'd already started to walk, and I missed it. Whoever it was that cleared the bristlebacks, I'm just glad to be putting a hammer to steel. All right, well, anyways. 
I still wanted to go and look in here because I'm pretty sure there's at least one thing I didn't have. And then I also wanted to go in there. So let's just throw down a waypoint there. See if my memory was right. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure there's something here. Yep, something over there. And that ancient compartment. Oh, weird. I guess some sort of undertow pushing me around. Oh, I can boost with it. Interesting. Fight it, Aloy. Win. Okay, so it's over here. I feel like the dodge is actually faster than swimming. But, yep. No, 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 no. Get in there before it pushes us away. Hey, Chinese, love your streams. They always put a smile on my face, bud, and I sent you a friend request on PlayStation. Cool. Uh, what's your PSN? I'll make sure to grab it when I get a chance. Hey, it's a cluster. Nice. Very nice. Okay, I think we're done here. So I want to grab that black box or whatever it is. So let's mark that and we're going here. Wanted dead 96. All right, cool. You know, what? I'll just grab it right now. Uh, hold on. I always forget how this works. Notifications. It's amazing to me. Um, I still barely know how to use my PS5. I don't know what it is. It's just not as intuitive to me as my PS4 was and PS3. Something's very different about it that makes it hard to navigate for me. some enemies down here which I won't be able to fight so we want to avoid those at all costs they won't be able to see me down here though as far as I know I'm okay if she was looking at the recording there. oh wow look how big this is all right we also got some stuff inside lots of stuff inside Hears me, or sees me, or something, but I'm going in, hopefully, before I can do anything. Alright, good. You seem to be in the clear. Check this.
Got a black box. I can't raise the airfield. Must have been destroyed. Well, we're out of time and out of fuel. I have to put us down on that lake. Let's give these soldiers a chance to die fighting. <laughs> this is the flight deck. We're going for a water landing. Leave everything behind except what you need for the fight. Now's your time to go out in a blaze of glory. Race! Race! My focus is detected in another flight recorder. Okay. Oh, pry open. I'm trying to open. Couple shinies. Let's go get them. Let's this one out right up front. Swim around that thing. Alright, looks like we got a green shine cluster thingy. Oh my god, how did I miss something over there now? It's a supply box, okay. Uh oh, he saw me. But I'm gone. Yeah, I think the dodge is actually faster than straight up swimming, but I don't know, it's close. If it's not faster, it's about the same speed. Alright, I think we're good. I think I got everything. So, can I fast travel out of here? And if I can, where am I going? There are a few spots over here I haven't gone to yet. Actually, it's really just over there. Well, since I'm here, it feels like I should go there. And maybe over here, too. May as well finish up. Alright, screw it. We'll go. We came all this way. May as well look around. Yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? Think that dodge is faster? It feels faster. I think it is. Wow, look at the stars. That's crazy. Stocking on these berries. Go to the island in the southwest? Oh, well, I was going there anyway. You guys are telling me to go places I already decided to go to. Yes, I will do that thing I was already going to do. Oh, sorry, Fox. I made it painless, though.
so after we explore all of this, No Man's Land will be officially done, minus, you know, metal flowers and stuff like that. But we will have seen it all. What the heck? Those tide rivers? Or snap moths? I think they're snap moths. I don't like the noises that are occurring over here. They don't sound friendly. Will I stumble onto the Loch Ness monster? Yeah, this is way back here. I see some sort of ruins through the fog. Some sort of city was here. Town. Is or was here. You still want me to get distracted? I would never. How dare you. Alright, now this is where my philosophobia is kicking in. This is starting to terrify me. I don't I don't like the look of this water. I don't like the environment. This freaks me out. This is this is sweaty palms for me. I don't like it at all. I feel like I'm about to get eaten by something. Leaving the play area. All right, well, there doesn't seem to be anything here. This must not be what you guys were talking about. Although, oh wait, there's something. Oh, green shine. Surely there's more than that though. Oh, the Glenhawk Island. All right, well, I didn't come here for no reason. I found a cluster. I got seven of them now. Wow. I had zero at the start of the stream. I have seven now. Okay, what's that? Oh, nothing. Okay, well, if anybody needs a cluster, you can make your way way to the southwest. See this this kind of freaking water. It's not cool. I can't see more than like a foot down. Eerie moon in the distance. I don't I don't like any of this. This is not my scene. This is not my scene. All right, well, I'm gonna have to go past those snap maws to get to the island, but the regular snap maws. I don't really mind the regular so much. The apex are freaking pain in the butt. All right, good, back on land. This is where we belong. Humans aren't meant for the water. We're not meant for it. Alright, I see some Glen Hawks hanging out. Let me just check the perimeter over here. See if there's any anything cool. And pick up some more medicinal herbs. Interesting. I thought I'd been down here before, but apparently not. 
But we are coming near the um, the place where we killed the subordinate function. I still can't think of it. Now it just finally came to me. Hades, where Hades was destroyed. Don't know why I couldn't remember that earlier. It's not a hard name to remember. It's Hades. Alright, well, whatever this secret is, we shall find it, but nothing's coming up on my scan, so that's weird. Someone left their hammer on the machine. I should take a closer look. Ah, this must be it. Errand? I bet one hit from this hammer would be loud as thunder. Whoever forged it must be a skilled blacksmith. I should look for a trail with my focus. Well, we found it. There. That's it. It goes this way. Interesting path. Frost Glen Hawks, they shouldn't be that big of a deal. up totems of brotherhood Our figures one looks tough the other kind of fussy maybe they're brothers uh okay new type of collectible there's our last black box yeah war totems totems of brotherhood a pair of card figures resembling two brothers both masters of the forge oh god of war right i think so Interesting. Alright, do I have any reason to fight these Glen Hawks? I don't think I do. Oh, I do, actually. Could use fire against it. Oh, Apex Glen Hawk? Haven't fought an Apex? Well, no time like the present. No time like the present. Say hello. Oh. oh my god! Almost one shot of an apex? You call yourself the apex, but in reality, I am the apex. I am the alpha and the omega. Oh, can't hit that angle. Can't hit that angle. I, I swear though, they really messed up the birds in this game. They are very dumb. And they get stuck. Like, look, he's just sitting here. Like, really? I'm You're just gonna let me do that to you? Alright. They're not the brightest. Uh, how far to go on Ghostwire Tokyo? Uh, basically just have the ending. That's it. Basically do the ending and then uh, do the second playthrough to pick up the remaining trophies. Should be done next stream. I'll be shocked if it's not. Alright, so we explored all that. That looks all beautiful and cleared. Uh, that's not, though. Wow, we're getting rid of Fog of War. I feel like I gotta do it. And I apparently never went over there. I'll have to clear that out too. And then up there. But I'm in this area right now, so let's see. Can I do that easily? Let's just quickly clear that out, because that's gonna bother me. 
Is the schedule this coming week going to be the same? Uh, let's see. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, well. And if all goes according to plan, the um, Ghostwire Tokyo will be finished on next Saturday, and then Rainbow Six will take its place for the following Saturday, and then hopefully, if all goes according to plan there, Rainbow Six will be done. So I'm hoping to knock out two games here in the next two weeks. Oh, and I need to update the trophies command. He just reminded me. It's it's a bit behind. The platinums are right. The gold, silver, and bronze are all wrong. I don't remember going over to these wide malls before, but apparently I did. Okay, well, we're gonna go here if I can. Yes, I can. I got an interesting comment uh, today. Who's this? You oblivious or just Ah, it's these guys. What are you two up to? Ah, Aloy. Perfect timing as always. Look, look. You actually found a tray. We're all very excited. Just look at it. Perfectly carved indentures fitting any variety of meals. Oh, plus a smooth backside to ensure maximum comfort for the user. No one in Meridian is going to want to buy a sun-scorched tray, Gendus. And I suppose I have no choice but to dine on it myself. Glad to see you two are doing fine. I can put some poultry here, and some herbs there, and some fish over here. Oh, and one of those tiny round bread rolls over there. Stop. You're making me hungry. It's decided. From now on, I'm never eating any meals not served on this tray. I'm so glad you made this monumental decision. Just wait until I get you all cleaned up. <sighs> We're gonna have so many meals together. Great. You're talking to the tray now. I can put some poultry here and some herbs right. there. I'll let them enjoy their tray. Over here. Oh, and one of those tiny round bread. How so many shots? Be welcome, Scrounger. Alrighty. Uh, have I heard about the new Star Wars Fallen Order game yet? No, I did hear about the new Star Wars game that's from. I can't remember what the studio's name is, but the ones that made um, Detroit Become Human. Blueberry was very excited about that. I don't know when that's supposed to come out. But that seemed interesting for sure. Make it brittle. Alright, so we got some Glen Hawks here. Fire Glen Hawks. I don't really care too much to fight them, but perhaps I should. I'll get a friend at least, though. Hello, friend! Join me! <laughs> 
together we will destroy he's taking a shot at one of them oh the rock shot and the follow-up teamwork <laughs> oh nice just straight up killed him There to the chest. Teamwork makes the dream work. Yeah, it's it's way better to override things in this game. So much more fun. I like you. You can stay for a little bit. Wait, what are these dead things? Are they just killing crows for fun? What's going on with that? Okay, looks like we're good, yep. Oh, there is something over here. What's the next game I'm gonna play? It's up for vote right now. Currently the quarry is winning. But the vote just started today, so early results are not always indicative of what's gonna happen, but the early leader is the quarry. We shall see what happens. This doesn't look familiar. Oh, weird. This is the border? Strange. They would just keep it open like that. But, alright. cave back here, a menacing looking one at that. What's going on over here? This must be the secret. Some green shine in there. Lots of it. Uh, I gotta find another way. Well, maybe up? I don't know. Will I be doing Hogwarts Legacy? That is entirely up to my patrons, but I will certainly be putting it on a vote because it looks interesting. You joined Patreon the other day so you could vote? Awesome! Well, good luck to you. I hope you get the game you want. And thank you for for the support. I appreciate it. All right, that's a green sign chunk. I think that's all we got here. Okay, let's just clear the rest of the Fog of War, see if there's anything else over here. And then we'll figure out what we're doing from there, if I have enough time to do anything noteworthy or not. I don't know if I will. I got a little bit of time left though, we'll see.
Turn in Poseidon, I'll probably leave that for the next stream. We'll see. If there's nothing else I can knock out quickly, I might go there. But that's probably a more involved thing. Loving the scenery over here. Not that I don't love the scenery throughout the game, but this in particular is pretty cool looking here. Uh, well, while I'm here, let's get rid of that fog of war. I like that it's not uh, super stingy on the fog of war. It clears out a pretty significant area. I've been playing some games recently where the fog of war is very stingy. It's like, nope, you didn't go in that exact spot. Enjoy that little smudge on your map. It's like, no! No, you know I can't handle that. Let's see if my focus is picking anything up. It is not. Right, is that good enough? Almost. Cool. Oh, nice and clean. Look at it. All oh, beautiful. I guess I should have just finished up over there. Now I gotta swim back. Oops. At least they get the beautiful, beautiful scenery. I do feel like I'm starting to get strong though. I felt pretty weak throughout the game, but now I'm like really starting to drop some, some uh, machines. The apex, for the most part, is still kind of a pain. Obviously, those Glen Hawks got absolutely dominated, but outside of those, most apex are a pain in the butt, except for the the like lesser enemies, scroungers and scrappers and. Leap Lashers are somewhere in the middle. They're not that bad on their own, but in, in a group, they're kind of a pain. But that's honestly the same with the regulars. They just hop around so much. Pretty clean to me. Look at that. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful map. I do need to go over there at some point, but that's not going to be now. Okay, and that's going to bug me forever. That is going to bug me forever. Are there any other water places I didn't go to? Yes, that one. Sunken cavern over in the restless wheel, and I also have that, but that's the metal flower. Let's go do this one. Will it let me fast travel? It will. Interesting. Okay, I do not remember this one well. Oh. Apparently, I lost some green shine outside. It's weird. Why would I do such a thing? <laughs> the Patreon was more uh, affordable than you expected. Yeah, it's only it's it's only a dollar if you guys like what I do and you want to vote on my games. 
completely optional, of course. But it's a nice little thing I get to do for the, the people supporting the channel. Let them vote on the games I'm playing. You guys get to tell me what to do. And I appreciate the support. And yeah, this this particular month was uh, a ton of horror games. Uh, there was actually one I cut. And so there was actually going to be another one on the vote. But I was like, alright, that's a little much. That's a little much. We'll, we'll scale this down a little bit. This is a big cavern network. Oh, we got another cluster. Like I said, I started tonight with zero, and now I have eight. Things change very quickly. Uh, this way. Which one did I cut? Uh, it's called like Oxide 41 or something. It had a slightly strange name. It was called Oxide something. Oh, we got some enemies in here. That's new. Uh oh. What the heck was that? hit me with? I just saw the damage and the, I heard the power up, but I don't know what he actually hit me with. Oh, somebody died here. Still, this cavern is not complete. Oh, up here. And now it's complete. Holding up. Oh, and there's fire gleam up there. What the heck? All right, where's this lead? Here, I thought we were done. Oh, I see. Just a nice little exit area. I think this is the spot where I actually discovered it, not the place I was supposed to. I remember this area. It's like a museum or something nearby. Right? I think so. Right over here? Yeah, the relic ruins with the uh, the cart thing. I remember this. It's been a while, but I remember. Okay, so that's the four hour mark. Uh, let's see. So yeah, no man's lands looking great. Like I said, I've never been up here. I should get rid of that fog of war at some point, but outside of that, and some fog of war over here. No man's lands, pretty much all done. And the metal flowers, which are freaking everywhere. Uh, okay, so let's see. We've got the sunken cavern in the gorge. We'll do that on the next stream. I don't think we had a lot of sunken caverns out here because the Tanath just don't really have a lot of water. But we do have one there, the Shining Wastes. And we got the one over here. Are there any others? We went way over here. I'm actually surprised there's nothing over here. 
And there's nothing over here. So yeah, I think it's just those two. So we'll knock those two out at the start of the next stream, and then we'll turn in old Poseidon, and we'll go from there, I guess. But yeah, if we look at our entire map, we've actually seen quite a bit of the game at this point. We did all the Vegas stuff tonight. Well, we didn't do all of it. There's still plenty to do over there. But we did a lot of Vegas. We, we got all the lights back on, which is pretty cool. Uh, but we haven't done all the stuff in the perimeter. And we haven't gone to the southernmost part. We haven't gone to the westernmost part. Although this... I think most of this over here is actually going to be water. So there might not be as much over there as it seems. So yeah, good progress. Uh, let me get rid of all the exclamation marks. So we, we got some, oh, what's this? Instant corroding chance plus 4%. Enemies have a chance to instantly enter the corroding state when hit with impact, explosive, or acid damage. That's interesting. I feel like that could potentially be really, really strong with something like Rain of Arrows. That's interesting. We need to think about that one a little bit more. Uh, range defense plus 10%. Some shock. Resources, we got uh, Apex Grazer Heart. Tide Ripper Tailfin, which we needed for something, I don't remember what. Thunder Jaw Primary Nerve. Long Leg Primary Nerve. Tide Ripper Circulator. And our special gear, we got the Black Box for the Jagged Deep. We have 12 skill points, I do need to spend those at some point. And then in our notebook, we are done with glint hawks so awesome there's still a surprising amount of machines i haven't even seen yet that's unexpected alrighty let me go ahead and save uh why am i forgetting how to save all right i have to save it up campfire i forgot I forgot how this game works. Alright, save it up. Oh, wrong button. Alrighty, so that's it for tonight. Uh, upcoming streams for the week. Uh, tomorrow, we'll be playing Ghost of Tsushima. Tuesday is GTA Online. Wednesday is Vampire the Masquerade. Thursday is Death Stranding with Blueberry. Friday is Vampire the Masquerade. Saturday is Ghostwire Tokyo. Like I said, should be the final stream for that game. And Sunday will be Horizon. Thank you all for coming. I hope you had fun, and I will see you all 